Hey folks, Guns, Gear, and On-Target Training out here at Oregon. Today I wanted to talk about the SIG Legion P320 X5. I recently acquired the SIG Romeo Pro 1, the red dot specifically for this gun. The Romeo 1 that I got has a 6 MOA dot, and I prefer a larger dot on pistols than I do uh, for long guns. Long guns, I prefer a smaller dot, like a 2 MOA. The reason is, with the pistol, there's quite a bit of shaking or shimmy that you get with that red dot, the smaller the dot is. And for me, having the, the larger dot allows quicker sight acquisition. Let's shoot the gun a little bit and see how we do. And some of those misses, guys, are me just going too fast with a brand new sight. So it's a great <laughs> reminder, like I guess I need every time uh, I go to the range, which is to slow down and acquire the sight before pressing the trigger. Let me slow down a bit, see if we do any better. That seemed to help. So let's talk about the SIG a little bit. I think it's a nice gun. Candidly, I like the Legion single action only version or the 226 Legion with the double action trigger. This trigger, and I know there are upgrades that you can do to it, is, is squishy. It's squishy and it does not reset quickly. The other thing with this gun is it's medium frame does not fit my hand as well as the two other pistols that I mentioned. Now, someone could say it's exactly the same size. It may be, it just does not feel the same in my hand as the 226 single action or double action. Only. So I'm gonna shoot it some more today and we'll just keep running it. One thing that you'll notice that happens with the optics that are really right up against the ejection port is there's a lot more crud carbon fouling that gets against the screen so once you put 50 or 100 rounds through it you really start seeing a lot of grit and it's not as uh, perhaps it's not as ideal as one that is set back a little bit farther now yes that's true with any red dot i don't seem to notice this on some of my glocks which i believe have the optic just a little bit farther back so that's all subjective but that's what it feels like to me all right we're going to keep shooting let's see how we do If you like this video or any of the videos that we do on the channel, I'd ask you subscribe and click the thumbs up icon. Please like the video. All right, guys, I'm five yards from our IDPA target out there. I'm just gonna work some upload press drills. I'm going to go slow to make sure I acquire the red dot. Just working that head shot. Wish my group was tighter.
you can see, I'm not blindingly fast, but that red dot is making a big difference in my ability to pick up the target and simply put the dot where I want it. And again, there is a group like this, though. It's like that, right in the center of that IDPA target. So I really like the 6 MOA. I like it more than the 2 MOAs that I have on some of my other guns. Well guys, that's a look at the SIG Red Dot, or at least a look for me. I really like it on this gun. I need to practice more, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I really appreciate all you watching, finally, and as always, stay safe.